Hey there, it's Sol with another bonus round of Horrific Vision Commentary, because this time I'm going to demonstrate a full clear of a 5 mask run in Orgrimmar, using a spec that I'm not familiar with, and geared from only Outdoor World content and Horrific Visions themselves. Run my Alt Paladin as a Retribution spec, running a 441 item level. He's running three corruptions, two tentacles of various item levels, and a fancy schmancy haste proc. whoop de doo No echoes were used by corruption traits, and there's no focus on Azerite traits. He's rocking a cloak level of 14, so 75% sanity resistance, and a neck level of 86. Reaping Flames is his main essence alongside Purification Protocol, Condensed Life Force, and Crucible of Flames, which was earned, but the others were bought with Echoes of Nihilotha. For talents, he's running Zeal, Fires of Justice, Fist of Justice, Wake of Ashes, Cavalier, Selfless Healer, and Divine Purpose. For research, he's specced for solo play. He has Gift of the Titans, but only has one point in Experimental Destabilization, and he still needs that 150 sanity that's higher up on the tree. I forgot to buy drums, good going, but otherwise this guy is fully buffed with scrolls to flasks and has a full battery of consumables, so <laughs> let's get started. This is the fourth attempt that I made at doing a five mask run uh, during this particular play, uh, play session and the last one of the day pretty much. Um, I was screwing up. I was pulling too big, too hard, and now I'm just going to try to sort of take it slow. So I open up with a cooldown so I can take out this shaman really quick uh, before he lays down a totem, which I hate forever and ever and ever, and I just want to kind of get past that. This is where Gift usually procs, and I believe at the time I thought it procs, although it didn't <laughs> I just thought it did I'm like all right I'm gonna go ham and drop these guys really quick um and I quickly found that you know obviously going at this at a lower item level doing a five mask it's gonna mess you up my biggest issue here was just dying to stuff um so here my my, my gift had finally procced I'm like oh okay I have my gift now. Great. Uh, so of course I'm trying to take care of taking uh, of interrupting these guys before they get their hor their horrifying shouts off, which is a big problem. It's it's the HP levels um, as well. Taking guys down at this stage is much tougher than uh, the normal, given the increased HP values. So uh, what's really important is isn't just hey let me just use reaping flames to bring these guys down. I need to you know, pay much more attention to my rotation and make sure that I'm uh, not like uh, over capping on holy power. So I'm double checking my, uh, you know, whatever my vial is. I believe black is the vial that I'm looking for in this case. And then off I go. Skipping chests. No time for that. Bros. Uh, so I'll open up the door and then hit my first of several kebabs that I'll have during this run. Yeah, so the... <laughs> This is a tough run. <laughs> There's no joke, uh, no joke about it. This really uh, pushed whatever skill that I thought, uh, you know, that I think that I'd have here. So I made sure to hit all four of those elemental dudes because if I don't hit all four, um, then not all of them are going to come, and that's going to use up some time as well. Uh, luckily, I have those two tentacles that start going to work on uh, this elite, and he brings them down to about seventy percent. But now, you know, now it's just up to me, uh, and and. Uh, I'm banking on a gift. There we go. A uh, gift had just proc, so now I'm able to just kind of focus on DPSing this guy down without having to worry too much about his decimator attack. Because uh, otherwise, again, uh, more time lost, uh, less time just focusing on uh, inflicting damage and all that. Uh, but yeah, no joke. Like uh, even with goulash, I found myself to be uh, dipping well below um, com my comfort levels of survivability here. So. Um, going with this fourth run, I was definitely taking it slower than I would have on, of course, my tank. And of course, since I'm killing stuff slower, you know, they're messing me up uh, that much harder. Of course, though, my nervousness was was really kicking in here too. Like I was forgetting stuff in earlier runs. I was straight up forgetting to get totems. I was just screwing up and I screw up on this run here too. Like y you'll definitely see it. Uh, but I go for the berserker first just because it self heals. That way I'm most efficiently going for the high health, you know, what's considered the higher health target. And then I go for this pull. 
Uh, take care of the marshmallow dude. Void Buffett is is especially painful here. Mental assaults just just cut my health. It's it's a really big problem. So if Void Buffets go off, uh, the mul the damage multiplier easily gets to be more than I can handle. So another gift proc uh, right over there. Cool, I get that little bit of uh, that that tiny little bit of speed. But you can see there, I can't really sneak past those mobs. I need to kind of jump over here. But sometimes I tend to not have great luck. Maybe it's because I'm a Zandalari troll uh, that I had a little bit of trouble. But I'm able to get through. Um, I, the gift wears off, unfortunately. Uh, but at least I, at least the timer is starting to run. Uh, but I won't be able to rely on gift um, for a little bit. Unfortunately, the shaman got a totem off. That bastard, and you can see just how much damage uh, is going out, uh, and and easily, like psychologically, it can like it, it just messes me up. So there, I pop my lay on hands, and my sir, my first of I think one more, um, and I think it was here for whatever reason. I'm taking a performance hit, so I apologize for the choppiness that you're going to see for a little bit. Sorry, uh, but we're still doing like okay. Um, I'm kind of on pace, and I'm not familiar with running. Orgrimmar on my retribution spec um so this is only i think my maybe my fifth or sixth run as ret in Orgrimmar, uh and i'm going in with with for a for another five mask attempt i had i didn't do any i think i did a three mask attempt uh just the other day but i didn't try four it's just like you might as well just go straight for five unless you're farming for gear which would have been a good idea really uh, but I guess I was just being cocky or proud or some something like that. So thanks for your patience. Looks like the performance uh, got a lot better after this. Uh, and so now we're going for uh, the first of these elites. I don't think I used a cooldown pot uh, for this one. And, and really, I should have. I should be just chaining them for the most part. Uh, but I unload on this guy. And I try to make special care that I'm avoiding the fences. Um... I mean, it's kind of a good idea to be close to the fences, so that way they can possibly make the hopelessness golden orb thing not fly too far. Uh, but I, but I've had trouble with it too. So in this case, I just opt to take like kind of a slow and steady route of uh, cutting them around, making sure that I prioritize avoiding the waves more than anything, and that seemed to pay off. So off I go, but not before I tuck out here and go back into the uh, tainted area and have another kebab. And some coffee. <laughs> I'm already a little bit jittery and nervous. The coffee obviously isn't going to help, but, well, I need it anyway, okay? Okay, so off we go. We are at, um, you know, we're good on sanity. We have three, uh, we still have our three orbs. So that first area turned out to be, like, pretty good. Uh, this particular ad uh, was pretty troublesome for me. I needed to definitely make sure that I inflicted a lot of damage, that way I can get it off Gera. otherwise Gera would keep aggro, and that would cause me to miss steps. And especially since we're dealing with leaden foot, I didn't want to waste movements, uh, and so that became like a big problem. So Gift just went off, go me, so I'm gonna go ham on these guys, but I want to, uh, you know, just kind of uh, move out of the way here, and go for the Dominator. Cool, cool, cool. And that way I can uh, take care of the major threat of the Dominator while I'm using the Gift proc. But you can see my HP is still like dipping really low. Um, this is actually where I've been, where I was uh, wiping a lot uh, in the previous runs. So I'm trying to be extra careful here. I use my Shield of Vengeance, defensives, and all that stuff. Um, I want to not use my Divine Shield. I want to save that for uh, sanity draining moments. Um, and this is not one of those moments. So here you go, off we go for the next thing, but I fall off. And me falling off here turned out to be my really, you know, one of the really big fuck-ups of this run. So you can see me taking sanity hit after sanity hit. Um, I accidentally freaking judge the damn tentacle, and everything just hits the fan. It's terrible. This is embarrassing <laughs> but i end up pulling everything uh you know hitting disorients getting knocked uh knocked into the air gara is is grabbing guys that are way outside there uh, i'm running super low on life <laughs> and i'm trying my best to recover it's it is this was just like a disaster but thankfully gift happened to go off uh, once again, um, which gave me a chance to breathe a little bit, recover, recompose myself, start clearing out these ads. 
but you know just that one little slip uh, that one little slip just cascaded into problem after problem san- one sanity draining thing after another and it, you know it was just disastrous so i managed to kind of sort of recover from it but not without taking some really big sanity hits which kind of tells you that if i messed up less i would have been in that much better of a spot which means that i could have uh, performed better and cl- and had cleared this five mask uh, with a little bit less. Regardless, though, this is where I'm at. I pop my orb, the first of several, and then I grab this pack here. Um, I have to be really careful about the swirlies that spawn because this is something that actually killed me in the previous runs too, just standing and stuff. Uh, so I had to be, uh, you know, more conscious of what's going on uh, with that particular pull. But as you can see, like. You know, with <laughs> by avoiding stuff, I avoid damage. Surprising, right? So off we go. Now off we go. I'm gonna go for this elite. Um, I mean, I have the sanity to spare, so I probably could have backtracked a little bit uh, and take care of more trash instead. Uh, but whatever my thinking was at the time, I was like, you know what, let's just do this. Because I, I guess I was figuring that I'm going that I was going to take some sanity hits here. Because if I if my sanity dips below half, then it's worth it. If it doesn't dip below half, then that would be considered not as efficient. So all it really took was one mistake uh, for this to be okay. This was like worth it. So you saw I only got like 158 sanity. So I could have taken like one. Like I could have messed up and and taken one of those slimes breath things uh, and I still would have been okay regardless though still doing all right I mean this happens to be a pretty big pull uh, so I go straight for the tentacle that way I don't have to worry about um, it suddenly popping up uh, getting hit getting uh, knocked into the air by the tentacle and the way that it ends up dropping those pools of poop on top of leaden foot uh, can be really troublesome so it's important to take care of the tentacle in this case I'm trying my best to not pull the guy. I'll, I'll just take care of these guys. Move out of the way, of course. And there we go. All right, so now, now it's time to take him on. So here we go. And from here, it's kind of standard fare. I don't have gift available. It didn't, uh, it didn't proc, unfortunately. So now I'm trying to get out of this, but unfortunately there's nowhere to go. So I take a big, Big sanity hit. You saw that big old 75 just fly out of my face, uh, which was really unfortunate. So uh, thankfully here I got thrown into a better spot and the split personality isn't going off. So I have uh, you know better opportunity to dodge things. Figment came out. Hi, friend. How's it going? What's good? Uh, so there I take another big hit because I happened to have split personality go off at the same time as the throw. So I was disoriented. I didn't have my bubble available. So I was just going to take it to the face, unfortunately. So the so I ended up getting some really big hits. I lost at least 150, almost 200 sanity out of that, um, which is, you know, bad. <laughs> I end up having I end up uh, being forced to use my second orb uh, for this guy because of that, which is really really unfortunate. It's not like I could uh, kebab out of it or, or anything. I would be taking too big of a sanity hit from that. I would just need to save that kebab for later. So off I go to uh, you know. So now I'm taking on this guy obviously, and it's really important that I you know minimize my screw ups here. I have plenty of sanity to work with. I could afford to lose half my sanity here uh, if I if I was like messing up, but of course, don't. <laughs> you don't. You don't want to be reckless here. Uh, so the gift goes off. Very fortunate for me. Let's me. Uh, let's me just kind of go ham on this guy uh, while trying to cleave these guys down. I'm not putting too much focus on cleaving them down, although I really should, given that I'm just DPS and I want to make sure that I uh, end up not dying. And you'll see why in just a bit. So this guy's about to go down, but I still have a bunch of these guys on me, and you can see my HP dipping and dipping and dip in and this is critical i really don't want to lose like my extra life here it would be super tragic uh in, in this case i would be missing out on a lot of opportunity it would pretty much kill the run if i had died uh or ended up using my extra life there so off we go and i'm trying to remember to myself okay when did i use my extra life on this run i guess we'll have to see in just a moment 
So back we are, or <laughs> we've returned to the tainted area. Uh, and now would be a good time to use a cabal, but I'm gonna just gonna kind of wait and see what's gonna, you know, what do I run into? And somehow, or you know, well, not somehow, I screwed up again, and I ended up pulling that pack. Great. So now I gotta adapt, try to line of sight these guys, uh, tuck them in an area, which is gonna be a bit a bit troublesome because that shield bearer does the shock wave, and then I'm gonna get stunned. I'm gonna take a lot of extra damage. This is great. I love this. <laughs> go me and over there you can kind of see in the top left corner that shaman is just kind of going nuts he's like yeah um you're not line of sighting me yet buddy so i'm like okay great let me try to move him just a little bit tuck him you know tuck him in a little bit sorry for the camera stuff there so I, he moves a little bit which is good enough i'm like i don't want to pull that pack below two on top of everything else this is terrible so i get so the I end up uh, kebabbing here. I'm not going to get a full bar out of this, uh, but I'm trying to go into this with as full of a bar as I can, so that way when I take on the next elite, um, you know, it'll be kind of a waste of sanity, but you know, not so bad as long as I just don't mess up. So off we go, going to start taking on these guys. I'm taking them on from the tainted area, so that way I'm taking a little bit less of a sanity hit, because hey, whatever I can, you know, whatever I can get, right? You know, a little bit less of a passive drain. Whatever advantage that I can take it that, that, that I can take, definitely take it. Which which also means I should have definitely remembered to buy drums and use that, but you know. Details, right? So I'll see the elite, and I happen to glance at black vials, which is very fortunate for me. So I'm gonna be take I'm gonna be grabbing those a little bit later. You'll you'll watch me go back and get them. Um but in the meantime, you know, this guy, while he's trivial, all it really takes is one screw up to like really mess everything up between the pushback, between getting hit by multiple um, orb swirly thingamajiggers. Uh, you just want to be super careful with this. So <laughs> because there I just took one hit. 61 sanity. Bye bye. Um, so again, you, uh, a big a big part of your successes here are, uh, is composure. So I backtrack a little bit. I go outside, go back to the tainted area, and hey, look, look what I did. So I gained like a tiny bit of sanity there. Not a big deal. I probably could have just, you know, skipped it and not even cared about it because gift was still going off. But hey, twenty-five sanity. And then there's still that black vial over there. So I decide, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these guys, then go back and get that one hundred sanity back. That's the kind of scraping that you need to do at this level. Um, in order to succeed because hey it's right there you know it's there to pick up why not right uh so somehow um this was a little bit uncharacteristic like i'm not used to i wasn't used to this happening where i accidentally pull the uh the next pack as well uh this didn't turn out to be so bad though um you know, just pop cooldowns and, you know, just go a little bit more nuts. As long as I maintain my control and didn't get uh, knocked into the air by the tentacle, then I'd be okay. It's not like I'm dealing with leaden foot here. So I'm all right. See, not so bad. And uh, given my current sanity levels, uh, you know, I'm able to go back, hit this vial and ta-da, almost full. So this was, this demonstrates like a... Uh, when I actually did good, <laughs> when I actually didn't screw something up. So these vials are, are the thing that are going to help make up for the screw ups of before. Uh, so I'm just going to be opening up these doors. I think that was another vial. I don't know if I saw that. I kind of saw that on the left hand side. We'll see if I end up going back for it. I'm not sure if I did. So I go for the Dominator um, first, of course, as always. Second target is going to be the Mine Carver, pretty much as always. Uh, but of course, I need to go back to that name mob too. Otherwise, the doors... I'm um, sorry, I won't be able to click on the other doors and otherwise complete the scenario. So I'll just kind of bring them together. Unfortunately, right before the Mine Carver dies, uh, he gets a fear off. But I also have Gift going off. The clock has stopped. And this is a good time for Gift to go off, given the one-minute cooldowns and everything. So things are things are working out. At this stage. Alright, so just a little bit more. And right now, right now I'm 
not comfortable. You know, this is still a pretty intense moment, but this is a moment where, you know, it you know, things aren't so bad. Okay, so I did I did notice the the vial over here. Good job, soul. Good job. <laughs> so we're gonna progress a little bit further. And that was that was kind of a, a a short reprieve to do like a quick mental break. Uh just kind of pause things for for you know just a little bit. Okay, so we're at one, we are at a pretty full-ish sanity bar. Uh, and then we got one orb left. Um, but now it's kind of a, it's kind of game time. Uh, this boss has been giving me a little bit of trouble lately, where standing inside his hitbox has been, has proven to be a little bit ineffective. So I'm a little bit hesitant here. In this case, I, I run away from a Void Torrent and still managed to get hit like a genius. That's, you know, real, real good going. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm struggling a little. I, I I'm struggling with this boss a little bit more than normal. In this case, I, I I tried to stand inside his hitbox, and hey, thankfully it actually worked out. Although what didn't work out was uh, having to deal with dark delusions, which just sort of sat on me, and like that was pretty much it. Uh, for the shield, I was trying my best to like break the shield for the sake of taking as little sanity damage as possible, which which is a little bit haphazard. Uh, but there's really nothing much that I can do about it. But of course, uh, relying on the tree to avoid some of these void bullets uh, has definitely been useful like pretty much all the time. So down it goes, gift procs, which is also kind of exactly as, as planned. Um, I wanted to time gift so that it would be available for Rexar. So here we go, I'm going to go ahead and take on Misha with the little bit of gift that I have available to me. Um, she was a little bit harder to kill than than uh, I thought, actually. Uh, so I'm trying to get away from uh, from her darn roar really quick. And of course, split personality makes that uh, really troublesome, as well as standing in the green stuff. You saw that 36 sanity hit, which uh, obviously adds up very, very quickly. So I'm trying to cut her away. Down it goes. I'm back to a full sanity bar. So, you know, it didn't turn out to be so bad. Like I said, as, uh, when it comes to fighting elites, as long as you don't dip below half, then you're in a good spot. Because after killing it, you'll be able to get a really good chunk of your sanity back. I'm sorry, I think I miscalculated there. You want to have, um, basically you want to have a little bit over uh, half sanity. So that way you can afford to lose up to 200 sanity that you would get back after killing the elite. Anyway, <laughs> so I mount up, I'm about to do the skip, but given that we're dealing with split personality, I wait. I wanted to wait until split personality goes off, and then I'm going to run inside, because the last thing that I want to do is have split personality go off while I was inside. Actually, in one of the previous runs, that, that happened anyway, which was weird because it, it just seemed to go off faster than normal. So I had to just kind of stand there and heal myself and then run a couple more steps out uh, as I was waiting, you know, once uh, Split Personality wore off. So now I'm here. Cool. And, you know, as, as usual, I opt to go ahead and take care of this pull right here. Uh, so that way I can have the totem cleared. And since I have some uh, since I have plenty of sanity, the problem is, though, uh, this guy hits hard, hits really hard. So between the little ads and the fact that this guy hits like a truck with that breath and everything and the stun, uh, you can see I use my extra life. <laughs> I just get cut in half and I'm like, oh boy. So, yeah, th th this was a really bad moment for me. Um, you know, another bad moment for me. And you can see like I was at 2% life. It would have been it. A little bit of bad luck and I would have been done. So gift goes off uh, exactly when I don't want it to. I wanted it to go off during Rexar. Um, and now this is pretty much it. I can't afford to use that sanity orb. I need to save it for Thrall, basically. Uh, and so I just kind of go for it. So I still have gift. I, I happen to get hit by that trap, but it's not a big deal. Um, but there goes pretty much the entire gift proc. I'm not really going to have that available for me. I open up with a nice and chunky, uh, reaping flames, which is, you know, whoop de doo But now I got to deal with, uh, with boars. And these boars can, as you know, they can quickly, quickly wear you down. So I opt to go slower 
you know, I'm, I'm still trying to get him down at a reasonable time because my sanity is, of course, ticking away. But with Split Personality, you saw just right there how it knocks me, how the, when the boars come out, it knocks me right into Split Personality. So it's important to try to determine where they're coming from. So that way, when you do get knocked back, even though it's just a couple of inches or so, uh, you don't get knocked into Split Personality because then you lose that much time and sanity and so on and so forth. So... You saw there I got hit by those two boars, and here I here is where I bubble, because I know that a couple of Void Quills are definitely going to go off, and I just need to try to preserve my sanity as best as possible, take down these, uh, take down these boars, and then work on Rexar. So now this is it. You know, all of them are dead, and one, one hit with the Shaw, and it's over. I'm getting really close. Sidestep that. No problem. Well, big problem, I'm just getting really nervous here. A split personality just goes off, and I didn't even realize it at the time. I just happened to be really lucky with my movements. And there we go. Gift procs, which means nothing to me. Uh, if, if anything, it just gives me the timing that I need. Um, I get a little bit of sanity back, and this is it. One orb, no extra lives, me, Rexar, and two boars. This is it. Home stretch. And so, of course, this is the farthest that I've gotten here. Um, and <clears throat> and normally, you know, th this is kind of the victory lap. We're kind of good to go here. But given that I have few resources and that at this point, uh, between desynchronized and just being a rep pally, I need to demonstrate a reasonable amount of mastery uh, over just doing decent DPS in order to succeed. So, um so after walking over here, I'm about to pull, and then, of course, this guy comes in. Yay. Luckily, he doesn't do anything else. Crazy. So I pop this orb. I have no drums. Uh, I don't have Avenging Wrath available on me, so off I go. Working on the boars first, of course. I'm trying to make the most of the, uh, most of my orb time, since I can definitely take some sanity hits here. You can see that I'm pretty full at this point, uh, but I'm starting to take uh, starting to take some hits here. <clears throat> I happen to take to take another boar hit. I even took um, that that other big hit um, for, from one of his major attacks, which was a big mistake. Fortunately, though, gift did happen to go off uh, with that last boar, which is definitely what I needed uh, to get uh, some extra time on the thrall without having to worry about much of anything. So gift just wore off. Time to get out of there, and it's just me and him and Raptor now. So let's do this. So this fight, the, the end of this fight, it's, you know, it, it's what we're all pretty familiar with at this point. It's just a whole lot of life to deal with now. Now I have a huge health pool to deal with. I have a 415 weapon with, I forget what kind of enchant that I have. I don't know if it was the right one. Not a big deal. And I'm mostly relying on Desynchronize to uh, come in at good times. I think Desynchronize came in at a good time with this shield, so that way I, I only took a 21 sanity hit. Uh, if it, it, otherwise, it could have been potentially really bad for me. And now, now here we go. Just trying to avoid some of the big attacks and just maximize my deeps at this point. And there are things that I definitely still struggle with, like using Blade of Justice uh, whenever it's off cooldown, so I can keep my holy power up. And of course, spending it, not going, uh, you know, not over capping on holy power. So here, here so the figments back. Uh, but instead of trying to kill it in an effort to get gift, I just focus on Thrall because, you know, time's running short. We're at 21%. I'm at a, roughly a one-third of my sanity bar uh, remaining and nothing left. 6%. And we're just about there. I'm just trying to get out of stuff because I don't want to get hit by anything dumb. And that's it. <laughs> and there's the cheer. <sighs> yes. <laughs> so this was kind of, this was a really sketch run. I messed up a good number of times. There's my precious achievement. Uh, but yeah, I, I screw up a number of times, which tells me that you know I could have done better. I could have had uh, some extra sanity available to me. It could have been a bit more comfortable, but <laughs> I still did it. So this goes to show that you know for for something like this, which is you know, considered high end content, this awards item level 470 gear, it's possible to do with just the clothes on your back. You know, by not having to farm tens and, and whatnot. I mean, you, I mean, of course you can, 
But part of this whole project and experiment was to demonstrate that you, know, you don't need to go into comfort, uh, go into content that you might not be comfortable with just for the sake of going into the content that you want to do. So I think I'm going to have to skip over because I'm just kind of in a daze right now. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kind of relieved that, uh, that, that I got through this. So let me skip to the chests. All right, so let's open these guys up. Of course, I got the usual, a ton of stuff. Uh, and of course, I complete the quest to finally get my rank uh, 15 cloak, to which I was kind of surprised. I, I, I figured that I would need that 5% extra sanity in order to succeed. But what do I get? What's in the end? Is it big money? I'm, I'm, I'm saying my prayer. Here it goes. And I get bracers that give extra mastery. 6% extra mastery. You can see I'm super stoked, but it doesn't matter because I still got this. I still five masked Orgrimmar <laughs> with this character. So super happy about this one. Um, uh, very proud, very satisfied. I'm, yeah, I'm coming away really satisfied uh, with, with, with how this whole experience went. Um, and yeah, so that yeah, that's going to be it. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a little bit entertaining or, or revealing or whatever it is. Please leave a like for the video if you enjoyed yourself. And of course, subscribe for all for more of this and all things Warcraft. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.